Hi guys, it is the first of the new year, 2019. I want to start this video just reading this email that I got from a subscriber in Washington. And I have to tell you, wow, was I sick last night. Got to sleep finally, I don't know, 2.30 in the morning. And woke up 4 o'clock, so nauseous feeling so sick then finally fell asleep a little bit and woke up with a headache now I don't suffer headaches but I've had some bad ones and today it was a really bad one so what do I get from a subscriber who is across the country from me this is how I feel this week lots of headaches diarrhea now for two weeks straight forgetful very very tired and lots of heart palpitations. My hair is now constantly, severely staticky, sharp, constant left back pain for over a week. I can feel the frequencies every day. Not good. No, it's not good. It's really not good. And these were pictures that she sent to me. What is that green object in the sky? don't know, but you can see the frequencies. You can see the toxic dumping of chemicals and heavy metals and whatever else they're dumping on us. It's obvious something's very wrong with our sky, but do we have the people that uh, see it, care enough, that what they are seeing is not normal, natural? No, we don't. You know, 2019 used to be, I mean, 2019, what am I saying? New Year's, right? It was all about change for the new year. and People would make their resolutions. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to exercise more. I'm going to quit smoking. I'm going to quit drinking. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Very often people make those resolutions and within days, you know, they, they're they back to their regular self. Can we expect positive change for 2019? I don't believe so. And I don't believe that we're going to be seeing any positive change in our own community. So, um, when I finally... I could not function. I The pain was intense and I felt drugged today when I finally got up and that was probably 2, 2.30 this afternoon. What do I come across? Mia, the first of the new year, posts this video calling me and others in our truth community. These are not terms I use, but people do. The truthers, um, calling us morons and um, claiming that, well, I'll let you listen to a little bit of it. About the, quote, New York Transformer explosion, and I'm going to clarify some things that I said in my last video, because clearly comprehension is not the strong suit of some of the other truth channels out there. For example, Carol at Never Lose Truth, who intentionally misrepresented what I was saying in my last video. Intentionally misrepresented. I did not comprehend what she was saying because I lack comprehension. Mia, there was no, no reason for this except your, your ego. You're not understanding how it is not controlled by you. In my video that I posted based on what you were saying in this video, having an epiphany yet, um, and because I was getting comments from people that were passing on your information, they dismissing what everybody else was trying to, you know, uh, 
trying to speculate as to what was going on in New York City, you claiming to know, you have the truth, and you stated in this video that they don't have the technology to do a lot of what is happening. Now, based on my research and based on a lot of channels, they doing research, they do have the technology. But you claim they don't, and you are claiming that this is natural, but I lack comprehension for not understanding. You claim that you're clarifying what you said. You're not clarifying anything. You are correcting a communication that was wrong of yours. You correct it. You don't clarify it. What What is it that you're saying? You claim, here, I'll let you speak for yourself. I'm not saying that some technology doesn't exist. We know chemtrails exist because we can see it with our own eyes. Yes, directed energy weapons exist, but the perpetual deception that some truth or channels have that do or some other technology by man was the cause of the fires in California and the New York blue light scene is what they want you to believe. Yes. To the controllers. According to Mia, we want you to believe. We want you to believe. Intentional deception. Okay, well, talk about division here. Talk about changing what is going on here in this community. It ain't going to happen unless individuals really take a look at what they are doing. Now, all I said in my video was that we can speculate as to what is taking place, but because of the technology, you see, see it, she admits that there is some technology. Well, why don't you go into detail? What is the technology that exists? And what is the technology that you think doesn't exist? Mia? Um, we know chemtrails exist because we can see it with our own eyes, but you claim that these skies, the pink, the gold, it's not from the geoengineering. It's due to a natural catastrophe that's going to be coming, I guess, the pole shift. Um, and I guess, according to you and your boyfriend, you have the truth. Everybody else doesn't. Even those like Rosa Lee Bertel and uh, the physicists and scientists who have come out stating the dangers of HARP. Uh, HARP uh, has created artificial auroras that can create colors in the sky. But according to you, they don't have the technology. The geoengineering, the dumping, the saturation of our atmosphere that has now has been permanently altered by these chemicals and the heavy metals. It has nothing to do with that, right? It has nothing to do with the lithium, has nothing to do with the aluminum, has nothing to do with the barium, strontium, none of it. It has to do with these natural catastrophes that you claim are coming and somehow you claim are coming, well, see, we're all deceiving everybody to when we state that they have technology, um, according to Mia, they don't have the technology to create the natural disasters or, you know, the fires in California. And in fact, even the truth or community cover up video that she posted for the start of the new year, um, they don't have these directed energy weapons that are killing people. In fact, according to Mia, they want to keep us alive because we have value to them. So the depopulation agenda is not happening, I guess. Um, physicists, scientists, whole lot have stated the dangers of HARP and how uh, they can create a pole shift. But according to Mia, you've got to listen to Mia. You have to listen to Mia because she and her boyfriend, they got it. They're the physicists and scientists, and, and they're the ones who know. And uh, I guess, well, 
um, in her mind. They just want you to believe that they have the technology to cause these natural catastrophes because if we knew that it was a natural catastrophe, the controllers couldn't control us. All right, I, I can't get into this thinking. Um, there was no reason to come out and just degrade everybody, Mia. What is that about for you? What is that about? Why did you need to do this? to actually call people morons, uh, not just myself, but claim that people are intentionally deceiving people into thinking that the technology exists. How could you possibly say that directed energy weapons haven't killed anybody? Oh, those directed energy weapons that were used in the war in Panama, our U.S. invasion in Panama, and Iraq and all of the evidence. No, they're not using directed energy weapons. All of the people in the videos, you know, the Iraqis and those uh, in Panama, they've been lying. They're part of the deception when they're talking about the lasers splitting cars in half and melting people and their, uh, their weapons. And in Iraq, yeah, those, they were lying about these new secret weapons that were dismembering people, slicing heads off bodies. They're all lying. You listen to Mia. She's got it. What I said in my video is there's so much out there that's happening. There is an awful lot of evidence in which we could state this is what is occurring, but there's a lot of other opinions based on the research that others have done. They've come up with different explanations. We can't discount, discount any of them, but according to Mia, you've got to listen to her. Of course, comments disabled. You know, I reached out to Mia, I don't know, a year ago. She was being attacked, and I know what it feels like to be attacked over and over and over again, and people saying things that are not true, and we had a nice conversation. Um, <laughs> yeah, humanity is a mess. This community is a mess. And when you, yeah, what are these? Well, wait, I just, I want you to hear this. Here. Stan, so for those of you that want to waste your time completely watching channels like Carol on Never Lose Truth with the same topics over and over, covering what all the main deceptive truther channels cover because that's what they think people want to hear while they have you running around in circles, never giving you a real answer and keeping you from the biggest deception that has ever been pulled over the human population's eyes, then be my guest. You... All right. Um, it's unfortunate that we have people like this, but uh, we do, and they cause a lot of problems, and they cause a lot of division, and I have to wonder why. What is going on here? Um, don't know. Don't know. I guess these firemen, California firemen, talking about directed energy weapons, their research and their knowledge of fires, and uh, they're also coming at, right out and saying, yes, directed energy weapons were used, but don't listen to them. Listen to Mia. Listen to Mia. Dane Wigington, same thing. You know, he comes out last year and claims that we don't have uh, the kind of lasers that, uh, that we do have. I couldn't understand this. He claims that directed energy weapons were not used. Judy Wood really uh, talk about immaturity. In an interview, she's laughing and making fun of all of uh, the channels who were posting on the use of directed energy weapons in these California fires. But according to Judy Wood, who's misdirected energy, you've got to listen to me because, look, I was the one who wrote the book 
and I'm smart. I'm an engineer, and I used to be a professor. This is, you know, I'm so sick of this behavior. I am so sick of this behavior. Laughing, ridiculing, degrading everybody who was coming up with an awful lot of evidence that said, okay, not normal, so many anomalies, directed energy weapons. What's going on here? Is it just these personal issues that people have? They never working on themselves. Uh, they believing that they're all about truth and everybody else. Well, <laughs> um, truth is not selective. So when we only focus on the truth about what's happening to us collectively, and we don't ever focus on our own personal truth, we can create a lot of problems with that unchecked ego that we have no awareness of. I, you know, this guy posts these, look, seven years of these people doing this, not only to me, but to others here, baffled by bullshit, never lose truth, high impact vlogs, vlogs, I guess, more fugal. Yeah. Um, he misrepresents what I was claiming in a video that I posted and it was John X army. Um, the channels like this, look at the channel. I mean, he's just coming after John X Army. Um, that's how he spends his time. Ripping people to shreds. You know? Uh, John X, Mar Fugel. I guess he doesn't like these guys. John X Army, Mar Fugel. John X Army. Uh, you know, it's like We've got so many people suffering, and these people, this is what they spend their time on. It's sickening. It really is sickening. But then you have people who just go along with it, which is really remarkable. So, LOL, Carol Clark is a shill. She thrives on fear porn and sucking in the psychological basket cases to her channel. And this is infinite wisdom. <laughs> I love the usernames. Um, uh, let's see. Laughing my ass off. She texted me talking about how I listened to you. I, who the hell is this person? I don't text. People just lie. They just lie outright. But what happens when you have that? You have a lot of people influenced. Why shouldn't somebody who comes across this comment, uh, believe that I texted this person who I don't even know. Uh, but I don't text and everybody in my life knows I don't text, but Hey, thanks bro, bro. Huh? Wow. You're cool. Boys here, Carol, never lose truth is a John X army shill. We have Unfortunately, the majority in this community are just like this. This is how Carol rolls with her influencer change agent buddies. Who the hell knows what that means? Um, and then another, you know, uh, person wrote here. Oh, wow. And it wasn't this person. It was gypsy lady or something. All right. Well, once again, comments are showing up that, uh, in different names. Interesting. This is not the person who left this comment. It was Gypsy Lady, a subscriber who I guess is no longer a subscriber because I'm so stuck on negativity. I can't even listen to her monotone voice anymore. When I exposed logic before authority and she took up for him, I knew she was about bullshit. You know, look, um, on my first Kafka Winston World channel, I subscribed to Logic before Authority when he was Idaho Picker. Suddenly, all of the infighting, people posting videos about Idaho Picker, and then I guess he went to police, and they were claiming that he abandoned his um, his son. 
and but all of the claims. I did the research then because I wanted to know, you know, what the hell is going on. And because I couldn't remember all of the research that I did, I had to do it again because I had other people claiming that logic before authority, oh my God, you know, people claiming that they could no longer trust me because I was asking people to help logic before authority because he, he was living in the coast of South Carolina and the government officials were saying it was absolute that, you know, that area was going to be flooded with 10 feet of water. Um, and then my integrity was shot because I asked people to help. So I had to do the research again, again, and I plowed into it. Um, nothing could be verified with all the websites and the channels posting all of this crap and he's a scammer and he's this, you know, when you post videos and maybe when you get a little bit of traction, boom, people are posting on you and claiming this and claiming that. And this is the truth community. You listen to somebody make a presumption about other people, and then you carry that presumption forward to another channel as fact. And then because I claim that, look, I've done the research. I can't verify anything except that he's got this warrant in Idaho, um, which I find very interesting, an outstanding warrant that has been outstanding for many, many years. There he is, logic before authority, uh, with his name. He discloses his location, but he's not been picked up. The claim about the abandoning his son I came across new information and it was a it was a site that listed the motions in court cases, divorce cases. And the motions, well, there was a custody battle. A custody battle. So how do you claim that he abandoned his son when he had an attorney, motions were filed? on both parties and they were fighting to get custody of his child. So people say bullshit and th that's good enough for them. It's good enough for them. And then they have to personally attack someone. She's so stuck on negativity. And yeah, I may have a monotone voice at times. I've been living a year that I've never lived before. Um, and I'm living something that is quite depressing and stressful and yada, yada, yada. And yeah, it gets to me. Um, I've tried very hard to keep my voice up as much as possible, but uh, there's only so much that you can do. But this guy, yeah, it's like, <laughs> we're gonna get somewhere. A lot of people, you know, claiming that a plain truth, you know, is this and that, and he's a shill and he's that, and oh God. All right. Um, He's out there helping people. What are you doing? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Why do so many people love to just drag people down? Why don't you lift yourself up? Why don't you do some work on yourself so that you don't have to spend your time degrading and ripping people to shreds and, well, you're in this quote unquote truth community and you fucking lie about people? Wow, aren't you just so? You know, I, I feel like what this community has become is just, it's like an adult playground. So, you know, now it, it's not, I mean, it's all over the place. Relationships breaking down. Um, Dr. Katherine Horton comes out and starts attacking an awful lot of people. Ramola D, um, and she is now turning on a lot of people that she worked with quite amicably, amicably, um, friendly, nice, you know, and, but now on her website, she's going after all of these people. Um, <laughs> we had Sibyl Edmonds go after Vanessa Bealey, uh, based on Posting videos, Sibel Edmonds, you would think that there's, I don't know. Well, look, it doesn't matter how successful people are. 
Um, it, if you have never worked on yourself, eventually those issues that you have uh, will be triggered and you will show yourself as someone who is controlled by your ego and you don't control it. Sibel Edmonds posts videos um, and truth community. She takes an awful lot of information out of context and uh, it was, um, oh God, what's his name? James Corbett, who posted a video. Hating to do it, but he showed. You know, Newsbud, Sibel Edmonds, what the hell are you doing? Taking so much information out of context to try to destroy Vanessa Billy, who was the independent um, journalist who went to Syria along with Eva Bartlett, but Sibel Edmonds wants to take them down. Why? Because Vanessa and Eva were getting a lot of attention? Who the hell knows? But you know, it doesn't matter what age you are. If you have never resolved any of those issues, you're going to start acting like you are in seventh grade. And a lot of boys act like they're still nine years old. So in terms of the directed energy weapons and the uh, uh, fires in California, we had Mike Adams who posted this article where were California fires set by directed energy weapons? Probably not, but here's why the idea is going viral. And I will show you an article posted on a site of somebody that I used to subscribe to. I know a lot of people to subscribe to, and I have to say, enough with this. What the what the hell is going on with people? Um, and that article degraded every one of us. But natural news. Okay, Mike Adams, at least he didn't degrade people for, you know, claiming directed energy weapons. Um, and he goes into, you know, a lot of the evidence that people were posting. But what does he, what does he determine? If these fires are being artificial, artificially created, what would be the purpose in doing so? Um, well, he goes into a lot of that. Uh, I'm just going to get to the meat of what he was claiming. Um, the simple, he's going with the simplest explanation. That shrubs and grasses simply burn when ignited under the right conditions, but more uh, mature trees often survive forest fires. Yeah, going with the simplest explanation. All right, there's a lot of people who don't do their own research, and they rely on people perhaps Mia, and baffled by bullshit, and, uh, you know, everything that Judy Wood and Dane Wigington say is absolute truth, and, but what happens, the ripple effect is, they come over to your channel and claim that you are posting bullshit. Um, a lot of people, because they don't do the research, they don't have a basis of knowledge in, in the many areas, subjects, agendas that are taking place, they follow others because they like them, because they have posted an awful lot of truth. And I'm not saying that Mike Adams is uh, a shill disinformation agent, while a lot of people do claim that. Um, to do that is irresponsible because what you have now done is led those who don't really think for themselves because they don't have a basis of knowledge to do that, you've led them to the simplest explanation. Okay, directed energy weapons weren't used. They won't even use their own common sense to see that the simplest explanation is not right. Not right. But he at least doesn't degrade people. He does say, it does seem strange to me that some photos appear to show tree leaves remaining intact even when vehicles are burned out nearby. This seems to defy any reasonable explanation, so there is still a mystery element to explore in all of this. So he tells, you know, he says, 
the simplest explanation. I'm going with that. But then he, he, he himself is kind of dismissing the simplest explanation by saying there's still this mystery element. How, do, how come the leaves were on the trees? Okay, what do we have? Mary Greeley. California's wildfires have spawned a truly weird new conspiracy theory. And wow, for this Mary Greeley, who I used to subscribe to when I first got on YouTube, she subscribed. Uh, she knows about weather modification. She knows about the geoengineering. She knows about uh, a whole lot. She left comments under my videos early on. But now, I guess she thinks everything's a conspiracy theory. And she could post this article that is so thoroughly degrading of everyone. What happened here? What happened? Now, this is the article that she posted. And I'm going to read some of it. So, this is on Mary Greeley's website. Which means Mary Greeley agrees with it because she posted it, reposted this article on her website. The claim being taken up by an increasing number of people in QAnon circles is that the fires are caused by directed energy weapons, directed lasers bent on destroying homes, property, and lives. And if recent history is any judge, there's a chance the country's biggest conspiracy peddlers, up to and including the one who lives in the White House, will take up the cause. The QAnon circles. You, you read this and you have to wonder, is this Anna actually a human being? Or is this just... You know, we get so much fake crap and the, a CEO of a, or an executive of Twitter came out and uh, there's a New York Magazine article about this executive of Twitter claiming everything's fake. Everything's fake. People are fake. Everything's fake. So... Um, Okay, this is so outrageous. So if you are an actual person, Anna, it's disgusting. It's reprehensible that you could actually call yourself, what, an independent journalist? or You're not. You're not. You're a liar. You have not done the research. You don't have a basis of knowledge to even write this article. But dues, directed energy weapons, have an interesting place in conspiratorial circles. Directed energy weapons are, to begin with, a real technology. Thank you for acknowledging it's a real technology. But then you go on to say, but one still in its infancy. Really? Wow. So... I guess directed energy weapons weren't used in Iraq. They weren't used in Panama. They weren't used in other wars. Uh, they're still in it, it, their infancy. The consensus, yes. Don't you love that word? Consensus. As if she even knows if there is a consensus. But hey, we're going to go with that. That's what they do with the global warming, climate change. The consensus, 97% of scientists have agreed that man is causing anthropogenic global warming. And therefore, since there is such a consensus, everybody who says, well, wait a second, I did some research and I learned that the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, you know, the United Nations, um, there really isn't a consensus. And actually, they're policymakers. They're not really scientists. And wow, is there a whole, a whole lot of... Well, the consensus of scientists, if you want to go by numbers, there's a consensus of scientists that dispute the anthropogenic global warming theory. So everything's flipped, everything's a lie. And Anna, you're part of the lying team. Isn't that great?
Yeah, there are a number of logistical issues to work out before the U.S. government will be able to build a laser system that would actually be workable on a battlefield. Disgusting. So disgusting. Ask people in the deep end of the conspiracy theory pool, though. Directed energy weapons are here already. Small body of people. Here she goes after targeted individuals. Small, small body of people who believe themselves to be targeted individuals, stalked, harassed, attacked by the government or other shadowy groups. And at least some of them believe those attacks are being carried out by directed energy weapons. Now, through a strange confluence of forces, the paranoia over directed energy weapons is making its way into the discussion about natural disasters. It's a convergence of long-standing American fears about government mind control and manipulation of the weather, merging with climate change skepticism. They, they go, every everything is attacked in this article, not just directed energy weapons. Uh, weather modification, geoengineering, the chemtrails, GMOs, everything. Targeted individuals. We're all crazy. It's all bullshit. Listen to Anna or listen to Mary Greeley, who was once, well, kind of on the same page, but now she's turned the page. Why? Don't know. Have no idea. But, wow, have I come across a lot of people who just turn and it's like, okay, is it fear? Is it money? Is it playing it safe? Is it, I don't know. But, when you don't have a strong moral core, you can do this. You can do. You can turn. You can lie. You can degrade people. You can call people morons and claim that they are intentionally deceiving you. But you and that boyfriend, you got the answer, the truth, while you degrade everybody else. It's unbelievable. So many conspiracy theories, it's not entirely possible to trace where... They come from, the best I can tell, one of the earliest promoters of the claim was Flat Earth YouTuber going by the name Odd Reality. And what does she say? She actually um, embeds some of what Odd TV was saying. Stores and restaurants are wiped out, while other things are still in perfect shape. Trees are untouched, but specific structures are just devastated. There's actually a fair amount of research to explain why some structures are destroyed and some are spared during a wildfire that has nothing to do with laser weapons, but she then mentions his name, Porcella, is trying to make is trying to make it about intent. Someone is deliberately destroying certain buildings. That point though gets a little mushy when he speculates that all these things are a distraction from the Vegas incident. And if that was the case, that's unfortunate that somebody could say that because that is mushy. Uh, you're bringing in a whole other event. And, uh, well, when you're going to be taking out 14,000 plus homes uh, to distract from a mass shooting event, I don't think so. Um, but then you get people to write this kind of stuff and take you down by that mushy uh, um, mushy thing you said. <laughs> uh, Left-leaning march against Monsanto site, which often engages in conspiracy theorizing about GMOs. Oh, GMOs, they're fine. They're fine, right? Unbelievable and unbelievable that Mary Greeley could have posted this on her website. Oh, God. So, March against Monsanto ran a speculative article about directed energy weapons, reasoning that they could be just another form of government manipulation. Okay. Uh, people who believe in chemtrails are also concerned about directed energy weapons and have a more fully fleshed out explanation for what they're meant to do. Chemtrails, according to Anna, are harmless condensation trails left by aircrafts, but since the late 1990s, a conspiratorial community has been raising concerns that they're actually toxic, potentially mind-controlling chemicals. 
how, where did this conspiratorial community come from if it wasn't from what was taking place in the sky? And they took note of what was taking place in the sky that, wow, well, condensation trails, they evaporate very, very quickly. What we have been seeing are trails that go on miles and miles and miles and miles, and they don't evaporate, and they spread out, and they cause a shield. Well, the dimming of the sun. Uh, wow, are we in trouble? Humanity is in trouble because we've got a lot of people who who just, I don't know, I, I, can't, I can't figure it out what the hell they are about, even if they are real. I mean, especially if they're real. No, if they're real, because they can just put an Anna up there with a picture and then post an article like this. Now, I'd have to do research to find out if Anna's real, but clearly she's not real. She's very, very messed up. This article proves that something's very wrong with Anna and how she thinks and what she does. So Chemtrail Planet, which is a really wonderful website that I have recommended numerous times. Um, I'm glad that Chemtrail Planet is getting the attention, although I would have liked to have seen a positive attention, but... Uh, great website with so much information, evidence, documents on virtually every subject, GMOs, chemtrails, weather modification, directed energy weapons. So she writes, an unnamed author speculates that last year's fires were part of a joint plan by FEMA and the United Nations to institute more centralized global control what they call Agenda 30. The United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development is actually a resolution promising to do a host of things to make the world better. Yeah, by 2030, including taking urgent action on climate change like every United Nation action. Conspiracy theorists claim it's me, it, um, that it's to institute a centralized one world government. And like always, that is not true. Even though we have leaders who are in office right now, like Angela Merkel, coming out and stating, give up your sovereignty nations. Don't listen to your people. We have an awful lot of people talking about how we need you know, a one world government it's been, uh, okay, uh, what do you do? Well, you know, you get really tired of having to argue the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, but unfortunately, because they have the means, they've taken over mainstream media. They have uh, a wide, a wide, wide dissemination of lies that they publish and what are we to do? Just sit back and allow these lies to continue? No, we've got to fight against them. Um, so directed energy weapons are becoming part of the cosmology of the QAnon crowd, a remarkably pliant group who have proven that they're able to incorporate just about anything into their belief system, QAnon, for the uninitiated, is the conspiracy theory that Donald Trump is secretly doing a really good job and is this and is close to uncovering and disarming various evil forces working against him with the government. Uh, another version of the Dews story claims that the wildfires were directed in such a way to destroy structures in order to make way for a high speed rail system. This is a detailed a detailed art, art, article going after everybody. Jesus. And it's posted on Mary Greeley's site. That's right, the government is destroying vast swaths of trees, houses, infrastructure to force people to ride the train. Yeah, our government would never do that. Our government's good, right, Anna? Our government's good. We're morally superior. We would never do anything like that. 
naive little children. The conspiracy theory is migrating to bigger and bigger accounts. Uh, Far-right internet personality and QAnon booster named Mike Tokes, who has 170,000 Twitter followers, aggressively took up the cause, using the same line of argument. Some homes burned, others didn't. Thus, lasers must be at work. I notice she hasn't mentioned anything about, hmm, how did that fire get into neighborhoods when there's no evidence of the fire at all? But the homes in the, those neighborhoods were literally leveled to dust. No mention of 24 hours, 14,000 plus homes destroyed, leveled to dust. They're the porcelain, the, the sinks, the tubs, the toilet bowls, everything gone to dust in 24 hours. Wow. But we're not going to take up any of that. We're just going to degrade people because, well, it works because most people really, uh, they don't care about details and they don't really care about the truth. And they're just looking for more um, information to confirm their own biased thinking. So it works. Um, global warming is just the cover explanation for the various sinister plots at work against this. Now we're going uh, the climate change and the global warming. Let's attack them. Tied to longstanding conspiracy theories about the government. Controlling the weather, such as the idea that the government already has a weather control tool called HARP, which it also uses for electromagnetic warfare. warfare. This is like Mia. You know, we don't have the technology. She doesn't claim, uh, she doesn't go into what technology we have or what we don't know. We have some, but we don't have uh, anything that could make the sky turn blue or uh, create a pulse shift. And no, these aren't chemtrails, the colors that we are seeing. Um, harp, here, Anna. Uh, uh, harp is actually a must less, a much less exciting research program that studies the uppermost levels of our atmosphere and was years run by the Air Force and University of Alaska Fairbanks. Yeah. Harp, that's all. Yeah, it's a it's an innocent military facility. It's just studying the ionosphere. So it doesn't doesn't have any other applications like creating earthquakes and tsunamis and you can't use those electric the, the uh, electromagnetic frequencies you can't use those frequencies to alter the frequencies in our brain okay fine my brain it works with electromagnetic frequencies and it's actually well it was kind of intended i believe you know the the great mystery of life but i think it was intended that we resonate with the earth's frequencies yeah that kept us in balance <gasps> ah but now we have harp and we've got doppler radar and we've got extremely low frequencies um, coming from all of the gwen towers littered all over the country shooting off very dangerous frequencies that are altering the Earth's natural frequencies. And could that have an effect on our brain? Yeah, but not, no. Anna, you're right, okay? You're right. Clearly. You're just right. You haven't done the research to even know anything about the subjects that you're writing about, but you're right. Weather and climate conspiracists are, though, not a big group. We're not a big group of people. Yeah, that's according to John Cook, a research assistant professor at the Center for Climate Change. Communication at George Mason, Mason University, who also runs a site called Skeptical Science. Wow, John, now you have a name. Skeptical Science. Haven't I posted videos? Skeptical Science. They're going to create these websites. They're going to call it, oh, skeptical science because, well, scientists need to be skeptical, right? So I'll call that website skeptical science, and that's all I have to say to get the trust of the American people. I'm skeptical, and therefore everything that you read on this site is the truth. Hmm. 
skeptical science outlines the shoddy science and arguments behind global warming skeptic skepticism. Uh, what about the, the Nobel laureates and all of the scientists uh, uh, and the climatologists and, yeah, those who are qualified to speak the, what is it? It's approximately 100,000. We've got approximately 100,000 scientists from all over the world who have come out publicly, who have signed their own petitions disputing anthropogenic global warming. But, ah, John Cook, listen to him. Climate change conspiracy theories may seem more popular, but they're still very marginal. The proportion of the U.S. public who are dismissive about climate change is about 9% bullshit. Ah, ah, ah. John, you lied, baby, you lied. It's not 9%. In fact, it's a, 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 the percentage continues to grow. But we're going we're gonna to say 9%. And I started the Skeptical Science uh, website. And, well, I work at the Center for Climate Change Communication at George Mason University. So, you know how many people will just hear those facts? and then believe him. You don't want to overstate their importance, John. Come on, honey. You're losing. That's the problem. You don't want to overstate the, their importance because that can have a negative effect. Effect. Why, if we're just crazy nutcase lunatics, why would it have a negative effect? You see, the, the, what, what the problem with liars and lies is that they create an endless life of, well, doubt. You got to figure them out. You got to figure out what the hell's going on. If it was the truth, if the IPCC was actually publishing real science and it was the truth, that man was causing global warming. We would have been on it decades ago. The fact that it's a lie, this controversy, this debate continues. It continues. So when you have all of these liars, but then you have those scientists who have actually done the studies and have come out and said the IPCC, their assessments, are worthy of the nearest garbage can. That's the problem. But it doesn't matter because they're implementing climate change. Uh, the rules and the regulations and uh, Paris Climate Change Accord, they're implementing it full speed ahead. Um, and yeah, a broader swath of the public that is open to conspiracy theories and denialism, uh, if not hardcore about them. There, so he had, wait, okay, there wasn't many of us, according to John Cook, but then says, there may well be a broader swath of the public that is open to conspiracy theories. You know, they, people say whatever the hell they want to say if it supports their argument. Most people don't even look into or hear what they're saying. So now there's a, a broader swath of the public open to the conspiracy theories, uh, if not hardcore about them. So you say the people are, well, the climate change conspiracy theorists, they're very marginal, but now you say there's many more of them. All right, well, <laughs> I love how people, it's like watching people argue against themselves. Um, for instance, a survey on chemtrails from last year found 30% of people polled thought they may be somewhat real. How? Wow. And recent polls show most U.S. Republicans still believe global warming concerns are exaggerated and that the partisan divide on the issue is growing. But John, man, you're not going to talk about those scientists and physicists and climatologists and you're not going to mention any of them, right? You're going to mention Republicans feel the concerns are exaggerated. Ah, but let's leave out those 
those who actually are qualified to speak on the subject. We'll leave them out because we don't want the American people to know that they're out there. The scientists, the climatologists, you know, um, we don't want people to know that it's an abject lie what they claim. It is really, yeah, then he goes into psychoanalyzing us. Uh, yeah, we're trying to make sense of disturbing events by imagining these patterns. What patterns? What the hell are you talking about? Climate change, skepticism, and other more out there forms of conspiracy theorizing about the weather have a few things in common. There is a similarity in that it's, it's trying to make sense of disturbing events by imagining these patterns. There's also an important distinction. Climate conspiracy theories tend to be an attempt to explain why there's a scientific consensus on climate change. That doesn't make any sense. Climate conspiracy theories tend to be an attempt to explain why there's a scientific consensus on climate change. Usually by invoking a vast conspiracy among the world's climate scientists. Whereas space laser wildfires are kind of, mm, well, yeah, he's, he's very nice and polite. He states, there's an isolated single event thing and as opposed to a more systematic, holistic explanation of the whole climate. Okay, that whole thing, you listen to people who lie and then they're trying to um, convince you that they have the truth and they come up and they say things that are like, how do you even figure out what the freak they're saying? Thank. <laughs> Somebody left me a, a comment using other words. You know, I, I can't remember the words, but instead of, oh, I'm not even going to go into that. But if that person hears me say thank, they'll know what I'm talking about. Um, social media, particularly Twitter, has inarguably helped to spread the conspiracy theories about the climate. Cook said, Cook and his colleagues have studied how to inoculate people against misinformation. Lie to them again. <laughs> That's how you inoculate people. Just hit them with more lies, more lies, more lies. Shame those who have actually done the research to find out, oh, yeah, people like Cook, the liars are actually lying. Uh, tell a lie long enough and big enough and people will believe it. Yeah. But, you know, inoculating people against misinformation, it's an uphill battle. <laughs> How could Mary Greeley post this on her site? I don't understand it. I don't understand why... Mia, you had to come out and really degrade, degrade, you know, so many of us who have, uh, you know, we're, we're living in an incredibly dangerous time. So many people are suffering and that number increases exponentially. It increases every day. It increases exponentially uh, every year. People's lives are being destroyed. We know that we need trust in order to organize, to stand united, all that kind of stuff. And there are so many people who, who literally work to break down trust and whether it's their intention or not, I don't know. I don't know them. But when we don't know who we are and, uh, you know, I can speculate all day long about Mia and everybody else as, as you can speculate about me. But to come up with something so um, definitive claiming that we are intentionally deceptive. Well, first of all, you claiming that 
I intentionally misrepresented you, and I didn't, by the way, because you did say, we don't have the technology. You claim that I can't comprehend what you're saying, but I claim you need to communicate more clearly. Um, but uh, how could you possibly know if I had intent to misrepresent you. You would have to know me. You would have to know my motivations. You would have to know something, but you don't know anything. So to claim that we are, and it's a we because, well, you name me, um, you're also talking about other channels. All of us have been thrown under the bus by you, and there was no need to do that. None. None. You claim that people are wasting their time on channels, not just mine. There's something very wrong with that, Mia, and I hope that you look at yourself and try to understand why it is you felt the need to come out so strongly against, you know, yeah, I understand that you took issue with my posting a video saying, yeah, we can't definitively claim anything. You know, I can't, you can't. Um, many people clearly are careful about how they state things. Some people are not. And, you know, they claim this is the truth. And, but, you know, they don't know. Um, so while in this video, you know, you're talking about how words are important and, you know, you use the example of parent um, and claim that, you know, parents don't own their children, you know, please get out of that psyche, people, you know, if you have a child, that child is yours. I don't care about you know, these uh, birth certificates and the social security and the breaking down of the word parent, uh, PA, paternity, and the rest is rent. So you are the guardian of your child. If you've got that kind of psyche, you should never have had children. I don't give a shit what the controllers or the elite psychopaths, you know, uh, intended, wanted, whatever. If you've got that psyche, that's why they control you. Change your psyche. That child is yours. It's not the controllers. So, yeah, I'll link below to everything. Um, I don't have any anything against Mia. Um, we had a great conversation on the phone last year. Uh, this didn't have to happen. It has. Um, 2019, you know... We have, we have the choice. We're either just going to continue going on as we went on in 2018, 2017, 2015, 16, 14, 12, 13, uh, or we can do the work necessary to change ourselves to effect some kind of positive change. And for this community, it has been so uh, destroyed. There is no trust. Um, well, we have a choice. We individually, you, me, everybody, on an individual basis, we really now pay attention to what it is we say, how we say it. Uh, if we're wrong, we come out and apologize. Um, no, you know, look, <laughs> there ain't nobody perfect. Uh, there, there's no one in this country that is not filled with their own uh, issues, personal issues from childhood, indoctrinated, uh, have beliefs that they've never checked out, yada, yada, yada. All of us, you know, I got my issues. Um, Mia has her issues. Baffled by Bullshit has his issues. Dane Wigginton has his issues. Judy Wood. Uh, Sibel Edmonds, um, Dr. Catherine Horton, all of these people, we're, we're no different, but we need to work on them so that we don't cause 
more damage so that we can cause trust to be established here. That might be a good thing. January 1, 2019. Let's work towards helping people. Um, let's not just focus on bringing people down because there are channels that do that. And I'm not saying Mia. I know that she took issue with the video that I posted. Okay. But don't come out swinging, <laughs> you know, calling people a moron and they're actually intentionally doing this. Um, because you're lying, sweetie. You're lying. And so I don't see myself. I'm, I'm just, look, I'm a human being. Uh, I'll keep doing what I have to do until I'm out of here. But you know, if you consider yourself to be amongst the truthers, then don't lie about people. It's going to take effort. It's going to take a lot of work for us all on an individual basis to be very careful that we don't cause more harm, distrust, and that we don't lie. And you can, you can get really upset at somebody and say things that are not true. But then you gotta, you gotta come back and say, look, I'm really sorry. Um, and if you don't do that, you haven't even hit the truth road. I, I have to say that, yeah, you're still at that low level of consciousness where everything's about you. And we've all been there. And many are still there. And it takes a lot of work to get out of that. And this is absolutely 100% required if you want the world to be better. You have to do some changing. Ciao, guys.